Hey everyone, welcome to your 40 minute single dumbbell arms and abs workout. I'm really excited for these exercises today and I think you will also love them. We've got some combo moves, meaning we'll use your core and your upper body for some exercises. Then we've got some just arms, then we've got some just abs. So a lot of good variety. Single dumbbell today means I will be using one weight at a time. I've got my 10 pound, my 20 pound, or my 30 pound dumbbell, and I'll be sticking with one of those throughout the exercises. I'll tell you which one I'm using. And then in your active rest, we've got just a little bit of 45 second movement. Nothing too intense, but I wanna keep your heart rate up as we go through this workout. So grab your water, grab a couple sets of dumbbells, and let's get started. All right, big cross over your chest. We're opening the chest and the shoulders up. Oh, I'm so excited about this workout today. Hope you're here ready to push yourself, be proud of yourself, explore some new movement combos. We're gonna feel this in your shoulders, in your chest, biceps, triceps, a little bit of back work, and then your core, arms out to the side, big twist. There you go. Two minutes to warm it up. There you go, hinge it forward and let's cross, cross. Stretch out your back a little bit. Great work, two, one, and stand up. Let's reach over top. Good work. Single dumbbell at a time today. I'm excited about that as well. And make sure you've got a couple dumbbells for something as light as a tricep kickback and then something as heavy as a tricep overhead extension. Whatever that is for you, it's totally fine. Push your hips forward. There you go, two more. Last one. Good work, just the left arm, big cross. Three. Backward circles, four, three, two, one. Same thing with the other arm. Four, three, two. Backward circles in one. We go four, three, two, one. All right, row and press. I'm gonna use my middle dumbbell, my 20 pound dumbbell. We're gonna pull one row, one press. Okay, right arm first, let's go. Good job, and if you need to brace, come down here on your knee, pull, drop your elbow, then punch it right up. Making sure you're not rounding your back, core is involved. There you go, start the row with pulling the shoulder blade back, drop the elbow, punch it up. Nice work, two, one, breathe. We're gonna go to the other side. Okay, same thing with the other arm. And then last round, we're just gonna split that in half, okay? I do want you to go heavier last round since you'll only be doing half of the work time. All right, other arm, let's go. Two, one. Nice job, come on, keep it up. Big pull, catch, punch. Six seconds, come on, five. Last one, breathe. Now, I want you to try and go heavier. 22 seconds on the starting arm. Halfway through, we'll switch, okay? Heavier, give me more intensity. We go in three, two, come on, big pull, dip, punch. There you go, don't twist, hinge, drive, stand. Good work. 
One more, and then you switch sides. Let's go. Good job, row, drop the elbow. Last one, three. And breathe. Amazing job. You want a little active rest? Feel free to jog in place right here. Okay, grab water. I'm gonna grab a drink and then join you. All right, we have a seated move now. Going back to my lighter dumbbell. And you can stay jogging while I demo. Taking that dumbbell, you're gonna come up in a sit up, tricep extension. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start with my 20. That was a bit too light. Okay, and we'll go in seven seconds. If you need a little help with that sit up, use your dumbbell, and then at the top, bend. Let's go. Good work. Notice I'm completing the whole setup. Then arms are straight up. Bend, extend. Good, spine is in contact with the floor as you roll it up and as you roll it back down. And breathe, good job. Two more rounds of the same exact thing. We go in eight seconds. Two, come on. Great work. Good challenge for the core. Try and push your heels down into the floor as you sit up. There you go. And then as you go down, don't just slam your upper back to the floor. Think about low back dropping down, 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 down. One more, we go up in three, two, Good work. Now, round three is always the round I say, can you go up a little bit? If you can go a little heavier, let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna stay. Now I'm gonna go up. I challenged you, I'm gonna challenge myself. Here we go, round three, and we're off. Use your core, be patient. Good, hands to the sky as you sit up. You got seven. One more three. And rest, beautiful. There's so many times when we work out together, I'm like, go ahead and see if you can go up. I'm like, Sydney, listen to your advice. Push yourself. You got 45 seconds rest. Again, if you want to jog in place, let's do it. But I surprised myself, so I know you're probably experiencing the same thing. Just push yourself, just see. And if you need to drop down, you got it. But you'll never know if you don't at least try. Okay, we move on to standing wood choppers. We're gonna do these in the shape of sort of like a V. So I'm gonna take my 20. All right, hands around the dumbbell. Here, up, here, up. We go in two, one. Good, a little sit back with the hips here. Okay, so you're not just twisting. You're sitting back, power, back, power.
Good, think of loading your hip, and then as you exhale, <coughs> it explodes forward. <sighs> and rest. Good job. Now, we just go, taking it from the left hip and over. Sit, over. Okay, using my 20 still. Four, here we go. Sit right here, two, one. When you get up here, make sure you don't just arch over and relax. Okay, get up there, flex your core and exhale and don't let yourself turn to a place where you lose control. Good, load the hip in your bend. Exhale. Come on, three. Breathe. Ah. All right, ambitious weight, but we're strong, right? Sometimes you choose a weight that you're like round two. This is a lot. Keep going, we only have one more round. Other side. Two, let's go. Good job, last half. Almost there, 10, nine. One more, three. Breathe, 45 seconds if you want. You're in your active rest right here, okay? We go on to just a straight, Upper body move, double handed curls. Push up to that heavier weight for me, for you. All right, one, two, one, two, right here. This is it, no abs involved or anything. So breathe deep. And we'll just kind of tap into our active rest, have a little fun, and do some kind of whatever you want to do here. Keep moving to keep your heart rate up or stop and breathe. 10 seconds and we'll go. All right, go into my 30. Two, one, come on. Good. And if you have a dumbbell that you're having trouble gripping on the ends, feel free to hold it goblet style. Open, curl, okay? Keep your elbows right here. Good job. Ten. Breathe. Good job. Just gonna put my dumbbells out here. Two more rounds. Go up or down, push yourself and go up or go down if your form is kind of failing. Two, let's get it. Think of this as like a serving tray curl. Okay, there's not really a point of totally relaxed in this one. We are working to build these biceps, come on. There you go. Yeah, 20 seconds. Nine, one more together, ready? Four, three, two, one. Okay, you got one more round. That was good. I know the grip strength is probably something that's a little tougher on this one, but just stick with it, okay? It's also because there's constant tension. With a single dumbbell hold, constant tension. Last round, come on.
That's a tough one, I know. You're strong, let's go. Fourteen. One more together, ready? Five. Rest. Good one, way to be patient with that one. Check your arms out. Active rest, be right here. 45 seconds to breathe or grab water. We're going down into a plank kick back. Okay, we're gonna switch hands each time in a plank. Targeting your triceps. All right, so dumbbells in the middle. Okay, feet are wide. Grab it, elbow, wrist, back down, okay? Why do I say elbow? So that you're not going here and just swinging, okay? Grab it, pin the elbow, then extend. And if you need to drop to your knees, that's okay. Just give me that flat core. Let's go. Elbow, wrist, bend, drop to the floor. And be patient with this one. Like I said, we have three rounds, so Elbow, wrist, bend, floor. Elbow, wrist, bend, floor. Good work. Feel that fully extended arm. With the wide foot stance, I'm helping your core a little bit to balance. Three, two, Drop down, good job. Off your hands. Great work. And if you're having trouble on your wrist, you can always go to your forearms. Same thing, elbow, wrist, back down. Two, let's get it. Yes, good job, come on, keep it up. Full extension. Thinking now about your ribs and your hips. If they're on different levels, hips up high and ribs down low, exhale, line them up. Three. Rest. All right, off your hands. One more round. Whew. You're doing good. Feeling good? Whew. Let's go. Five, four. Exhale, go. Come on, triceps. Come on, strong core. Yes, talk to our body parts sometimes. <laughs> talk to my legs a lot. But right now, I talk to my core and I say, Whew. line it up, keep it tight. Talk to my triceps and I say, extend fully. Okay, don't just swing this dumbbell back there. Extend. You'll feel the difference in swinging and extending. Yes, come on, seven. Five. And rest. Come on up to standing. Good work. Grab water. You want your rest to be active. Get a little impact cardio in. 30 seconds, we're gonna start with a seated twist and press. All right, starting with my 10 pound dumbbell, you're gonna reach over pull, press, okay? So, just one hand for the first two rounds. You're gonna tap, pull, press. When you press, lean back just a bit, okay? This hand first, let's go. And if you're feeling really good, lift the feet up. Good. 
Good job. Heels are down. Belly is not arching up. It's also not reaching back in a rounded position. Neutral. Long, strong spine. There you go. Good job. Where are we feeling this? We're feeling it in our core. Obliques specifically, which wrap from front to back. Feeling it in your shoulder in this press. You're also feeling it potentially in the bicep and tricep. Rest. Good. Other side. All right. When I say long, strong spine, I just want to make sure all the muscles around your spine are protecting it. All right. Other arm. Two. Let's go. Good, when you get that form, feeling confident, give me a little better tempo. So boom, up, boom, up. Fifteen. Seven. Last one. Breathe. All right, if you can go heavier, let's do it. We're gonna alternate. Touch, press, up, down. Touch, press, up, down. You're switching right here, okay? Let's go up, if you can. Two, come on. Yes, you're doing good. Come on. Punch. Seven. Last one. Beautiful work. Come on up. 45 seconds of rest. Lots of twisting. So catch your breath here. We want to. A little active rest is right here. You can just kind of bounce. Next one is a front raise box. You think of the shape of a box, right? Four equal sides. You're gonna do that with your dumbbell. Up, over, down, over. Okay? I'm gonna use my 10 to start off with in round one. Okay? Here we go, nine. Four, two, one, let's go. Over, up, over, down. Through all this, make sure you're not twisting your hips around. They stay nice and straight. Good job. Front of your legs and then eye level. Nice work. Up, over, down, over. Keep that same direction, we'll switch in round two. You're doing good. Nice work. Three. Good, dumbbell down. For that one, I was surprised with how heavy the 10 pound dumbbell felt. <laughs> Make sure you're in that constant tension. Okay, so if you're resting and dropping a lot, lower the weight so we can go non-stop for 45. Other direction, let's go. Good, we're going side, up, over, down. Nice work. And if you want a bit more of a challenge, keep your box a little smaller and right in front of your chest. So you're here, boom, 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 okay? It's kind of like you're creating a box around your face. <laughs> okay. Seven. Shoulder burn. Come on, two. 
breathe. Last round, good work. I know you're feeling it, let's finish here. Every circle or box, you switch directions, okay? Ready, two, let's go. Over, up, over, down, and then right back up. Good job. I'm completing one full box and then I just switch directions. Yes, we are strong. Come on. Four. Rest. Okay, that was a non-stop movement. 45 seconds rest now. Now we're going into a non-stop ISO, which means single position. A dumbbell plank, or just a regular plank. If you're not ready to throw a dumbbell on your back, do not do it. I want a good, solid plank, okay? We go in 23 seconds. Jog in place if you'd like. I'm gonna grab some water. The most important thing to remember here is if you have a dumbbell on your back or not, your belly button doesn't release. So think about these two surfaces. They're closing and they're keeping this closed. Right, right here, you're locking it in. Two, let's go. And if your dumbbell is sliding up to your shoulder blades, your butt is too high. All right. You want it just to be right around that tailbone area. And if you need to, dropping to your knees is fine, okay? Keep your belly button pulled in. 11 seconds. Remember, ribs and hips are trying to lock that belly in. Rest. Good job, I'm shaking. I know you're probably shaking too. Go up or down if you need to or if you can. Okay. Lock your quads and your glutes in as well. So make sure they're not relaxed, they are flexed. Round two, let's go. How you doing? Good, great, I'm so glad you gave me a nice positive answer there. I know you're doing great, I know you're shaking, I know you're strong. I feel it, trust me. I'm with you. I know you can do this for 10 more seconds. Hold tight, three, two, rest. Good job. Now. I don't know if you saw it there or not, but I dropped down to my knees. I looked down at my core, slightly disengaged. So I'm gonna lessen the load so my plank stays great. Or drop it off. Two, one, let's go. Okay, so if you look at my stomach right now, this is me not engaged, right? Belly's reaching for the ground. If I'm engaged, it's nice and strong right here. I think of something wrapping right around my stomach, okay? Exhale, keep it strong. Stay right there, 10. Whew. Rest. Ah. Amazing job, we have another core move. Lay down on your back, 45 seconds of rest. I'll be honest, I forgot to put my straw in my cup here, so I have a straw top, no straw. I went in the first round to drink and there was nothing coming out. That's when I realized. I hope you're having a good time in this workout. I really am proud of you for showing up. 
sometimes it's just nice to be reminded we're doing this for ourselves, you know? It might hurt, we might get tired, but it's to our benefit, always. Let's go. Five seconds. <sighs> Pull it over, three, two. <sighs> now, if you are able, you can float your feet. <sighs> I'm challenging you to keep a nice, strong arm. <sighs> so we're using a little bit of back, a little tricep. <sighs> And I'm keeping my biceps as close to my ears as I can. So I'm not going up here, then sitting up. I'm gluing biceps near ears. And they move upwards together. Ten seconds. Rest. All right, if you're like me, you could potentially think about going a little heavier for your single dumbbell. All right, round two. Do what you need to do to get a good challenge out of this. Let's go. Taking that dumbbell right over your shin and I always find it really helpful to not think about bringing my knee in here, but bringing it up and high, so that my lower core is really working hard. Nine. Rest. Amazing, you got one more round there. Up if you can. And also another challenge is to take it two legs, okay? But I caution you, because we're open here, recognize that your back is arched. Let's go. We don't want it to be arched when we do our crunch, so that's why I keep it single leg so I can easily get that posterior hip rotation. Come on, 15 more seconds in this one. Last one, rest. Stay down here and potentially grab the next heaviest weight. Okay, we're gonna go chest press and jackknife. So single leg version of a chest press. All right, you've got one arm Pressing up, jackknife. Okay, I don't want your dumbbell moving too far forward and backward. I want you to press it up and take it slightly into the center and then back out and down. Okay, so I'm using my 30. Do what you can control for that one. I don't want you getting here and then dumping over. 10 seconds and we'll go. Big deep breath, you're doing fantastic. Here we go. Exhale, two, one. Just a little bit into the center. You can float that other leg or the moving leg. Good job, you got 10. Rest, beautiful. Now you just take it to the other side. Okay, pressing up. You can leave your moving leg floating, just take it up. Four. Let's go, press. Just 
a little bit of a crunch here. Thirteen. Two. Rest. 15 seconds. We take the dumbbell now right in the center. Okay? So we're taking it two arms up, alternate. Down, up, every other leg. Okay? Two. Let's get it. Now, with this one, you can afford to go a little quicker. Okay? So as you're pressing, try and lift your leg. There you go. Tap the elbows, punch the sky. Let's get it. Nine. Two. And breathe. 45 seconds. And then we're gonna do a one minute finisher. Okay? A little ladder. Whew. We're gonna stay isometric with our core, moving with our arms, all right? You can jog in place if you'd like right now. We're gonna take the legs, lift them up just a bit, okay? Or at least roll back. Right here, you got one, switch that light dumbbell over. One, two, switch that dumbbell over. Three, as high as we can in 60 seconds. When and if you need to, take your heels, just drop them down. Keep climbing, but keep that lean back, okay? Come on, you and me together, this is gonna be fun. I know you don't like my definition of fun right now. Push hard, then we're done. Let's go. That's it. Just keep climbing. Thirty seconds. Whew. You're doing good. Ten seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. And rest. Come on over. Drop it onto your belly. Just flip it down. You're doing great. You've made it to your cool down. Exhale. Hands right beside your chest. Gentle press up. We did it. Great work today. Not an easy workout, but a strong finish. Reach it back. There you go. Let your back relax a little bit. Drop your forehead to the floor if you can. Nice work today. With this workout, I wanted you to enjoy your upper body training. So there's a lot of different types of movements. Good job. Come back up, tabletop position, and tuck your toes down. Lift your hips up, heels to the floor, which might feel fantastic after our workouts the past couple of days anyways. Walk it back to your toes. Grab right behind your calves. As you grab, reach your spine away from your legs. There you go. Should feel a really good release in your shoulders and your traps. Good, relax, do it one more time. Good, release your hands and slowly roll up to the top. Palms face the floor, take your time coming up. Beautiful. One ear to one side. And don't forget how hard you push today. 
switch it over. I hope you got a good sweat on. I hope you enjoyed our time together. Enjoyed meaning you're leaving here knowing that you benefited from this time. Great work. Cross your arm over. Make sure you're supporting yourself with acknowledging with hard work, I yield the benefits. Professionally, personally, in fitness and nutrition, a lot of times it's slower than we'd like, but with any hard work, you yield the benefits of learning from experience, learning from failure, or moving forward in progress. All of those are positive. Switch it over. Okay, so if you don't take the time to learn things, then you'll never be able to move forward and do them consistently. All right, if you don't take the time to accept, all right, I didn't do great today, let, let me figure out why, then you'll never be able to make this a lifestyle. And if you don't work hard enough to see progress, then you're just gonna lose faith in the journey, okay? And the good and bad part is that we are always in the journey. So if you have no faith in this journey and that you're reciprocating hard work benefit, then it just makes it tough to stay on track, right? So learn from your failures. Do not quit when things don't go as you planned and always acknowledge, if I can make this a lifestyle, I will see progress and that will keep me going. But unless all of those other three things happen, then I will not figure out how to make this something I can live with and live through and make it a journey instead of just a temporary fix. So remind yourself that daily, I'm in this for the long run. It is not just today, but I make the best of today. I will see you back here tomorrow. I'm so proud of you. Hit me with a flex selfie, tag me on your socials, and I will see you for our next workout. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I appreciate it so much. Have a great day.